Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, we're going to have some fun with gradients and gradient maps and blending modes to create fun, abstract, and colorful images like this. So I'm just working on whatever size document I want. And the gradient tool you can find on the left-hand side on the toolbar, you can also press G, the shortcut to unlock it. And if you drop down the, the menu in the top toolbar, you have all of these different colors of gradients and whatnot. But in my case, I'm going to just choose the basic black and white gradient. And if you don't see this, just make sure your colors are reset to the default black and white. You can do that by clicking this little swatch right here. And when I'm choosing my gradient, I can choose to apply linear, radial, angle, reflected, or diamond gradient. So you have these five different modes. And you also have the mode that the gradient is going to be applied on. So if I have it set to normal like default and the opacity 100 like default, you can also adjust if the gradient is flipped or reversed. You can click and drag, create a simple gradient like this. If I kind of want to use it to clear the background, I can just make the gradient start off the screen. And now we've got our blank white image. But the cool part about this is the way that we can use these different blending modes to play with the gradient tool and create fun images. So yes, I can just do one gradient. And if I do another one, since we're on normal blending mode, they'll all just kind of overtake the last one. But if I change either the opacity or the blending mode, something like 50%, now when I do another gradient, it only does 50%. So now we're getting these unique blends. But if I, keep it at 100 let's say and change the blending mode to something else such as difference or exclusion now I'll be able to apply gradients on top with different blending modes so difference is a cool blending mode where you know it'll kind of take what's black and make it white and take what's white and make it black and you can get these really cool glassy textures and you can make maybe thin gradients or, or thicker ones that we're later gonna use different adjustment methods to apply color onto. So this is just using the linear gradient, but you can also use the radial gradient to create these little bubbles. I can make small ones or large ones that go over top the whole image. You can also use these the diamond one. You can use the, this one's a, a really fun one, the reflected gradient. It'll kind of allow you to create these full on reflected stripes. And if you just do them horizontally or vertically, you can create these bursts and stars of pattern. Or you have the radial. I don't use this one too much just because it does create a clear line. But if that's something you're looking for, you can use that. But now once we have our image all textured up and, and made. You, you wouldn't maybe imagine that this was made with the gradient tool. What I can do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map. So this is gonna map all of the colors from white to black in the image. So right now it's set to the white to black, but if I was to make it blue and white, we get a different image, um, red and green or whatever sort of color combination we want. Uh, rainbow, where you really can get into some cool ones are with different sort of gradients. So ones that maybe appear more smooth or more subtle. Kind of get these abstract pieces of art that happen. And also you can make your own gradient. So if I didn't love this or I wanted to change this purple to something else, see what it might look like, you can really get creative and do any sort of color you want with the gradient picker. And more so than that, you can also have fun with text. So if I do want to add text on top of this, it's fine. Just set to normal, but you can even set text on blending modes such as difference. And I can put the text underneath the gradient map as well. So it kind of blends in. And even when you do have the gradient map on, then you can go back to your gradient tool and just keep playing around. See what kind of fun different looks you can achieve. 
And this is a fun starting point to create these sort of abstract textures and colors. And if nothing else, just a fun way to learn about the gradient tool, the different modes and blending modes available to you. I've just been using difference, but you can play around and see what happens if you start using multiply or overlay or darken. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, my name is Justin Odisho. You can find hundreds more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.